Yeah. You know, I, I almost wish sometimes I could sit people, sit all my students down, give them a lesson on how to take a lesson. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, seriously, a lesson on how to take a lesson because yeah. you know you come and I've had a chance to watch so many of them. I know my personality, always wanting to just get it done. Let's go. Yeah. It, it took me a lot of um, discipline to be able to slow myself down and be okay with just hitting half shots and not having right. a glamorous range recession. Yeah. But you know, it just comes with maturity sometimes too, and defining why you're out there that moment. One thing you'll let, you guys will like about the way he works at his game is, you know, this is, DeLon's on the Latin American Tour, PGA Tour Latin America. Yep. And, you know, this is a good player here, so you're going to see him work at it in a way that's, um, sometimes it would be, what you would say, not glamorous, right? <laughs> Meaning, yeah, you know, definitely, you're, you're definitely not, not glamorous. glamorous. You know, we, we spent our first lesson hitting the ball <laughs> half the distance at which we would normally hit it. The reason yeah. being is we're just trying to get it perfect, get the move, spend the time here nailing it. Obviously, when we prep for tournaments, we go about it a completely different way. One thing we had a t discussion about was just making the rehearsals so unbelievably realistic to that of the swing. Um, I think that's, you know, people always wonder how they can get things to translate over. So these things you're working on, maybe you're working on the same thing he is, and you're going to take this lesson to heart and go to the range today. Well, you know, what you should do is take a page from his book. Look at how he's rehearsing it once, twice, sometimes three times with the two hands, and then literally right. just getting to the exact same spot, guaranteeing he's getting to the same spot, yeah. even pausing or going slow to do it and then hitting the shot. And I think that's very important because most of the time what I watch, if I don't instruct people on how to go about making the change, if I just tell them what to do, they'll put that thought into play, but they'll just make their normal golf swing. And it might get, you know, 1% better. Um, you know, some people are talented, get it 10% better, but it doesn't get all the way there very quickly right. when people work at it that way. That's beautiful, dude. That's got to feel so much better. Yeah. So many people, my young players especially, I watch them at the end of the day come out in the driving range and I look down and I'm like, you know, are they just, they're just, they're just, they're just, whacking, they're just, it. They're just whacking it and they're just grading their day based upon, you know, yeah. oh, I hit it, I hit it well today, so t today was good. Right. Well, did you have any like real feedback? Like, did, right. you, did you work at, you know, moving your swing in the right direction? Then did you have some games or something that you played that were competitive that actually gave you feedback that you were actually improving? Right. With that being said, I'll sit here and watch slow swings for two hours if I have to, right? right. But the reality is we're just going to make it perfect today. Yeah. Let him then go and take some full swings towards the end, and guess what? Hopefully see some, uh, some change for yeah. the better. Wow. Kind of get a feel. Yeah. And then maybe, honestly, maybe only hit, like, you know, three to five full shots. Gotcha. And see how it feels, and then, like, cycle back. Go back to it. Go back to uh, this, uh, just the feel. Okay and then kind of just slowly blend it into yeah. like full swing reps. That makes sense. Yeah. I feel like a lot of amateurs just want to go into that full swing. Right yeah. Away. Oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, yeah. But when you're trying to make changes and stuff, it's so hard to do it at full speed. Right. You know, like I remember Tiger always said, like if I'm trying to make a change, like I'll start with a wedge. Gotcha. And then kind of go up the ladder, like wedge, you know, eight iron, six iron. And then it's like, if you can do it, you know, with a wedge and eight iron, six iron, like you could do it throughout the bag, you know? Yeah. But kind of just pacing yourself, I think, is important because you want to make sure it carries over more than anything. What speed are you going at right now? Do you think? Dude, pretty, pretty slow. Yeah. I would say, gosh, maybe 50 if I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I think a big thing is to like feel versus real, you know, because, you know, say you're trying to change a swing, you know, in order to change it 1%, you know, you've got to be exaggerating it, you know, 10 times that at yeah. least, you know, and then if you just are, you know, say, say we just worked on that, you know, the little rehearsal, we go here and then say I, you know, I just go into full swings right away, chances are it's not going to you know, carry over at all, because you're just gonna revert back to like what's comfortable. But that's why what we talk about, we use these words a lot, go-to drills. Yeah. Go-to drills. Yeah. Like he's gonna lead the day, just like he did last time. You notice how we didn't talk about this drill at all, by the way? I mean, I talked about this one to remind right, him, but he was but already not, doing yeah. that. He showed up doing the stop-go, doing what he needed to do to guarantee uh, that success. Right. Um, but that's because he understands that what he feels he's doing and what I show him on the camera might be two different things. And 
This yeah. is a drill that guarantees it's right. So we're gonna just keep pounding it in the ground until it blends into this thing, swing completely. Find something that the player likes. The good news is we have multiple ways to say the same thing. Not only is the country club, I have good vibes there, but it has every activity that you could have at the oh, country yeah, club. Oh yeah, I didn't even like, see like, that. Like, like yeah. skiing, cross country right. skiing, like golf, curling. Swimming. Yeah, I mean, you got everything. You got the tennis, you got the golf, you got the, yeah. I think they even have like their famous cocktail on here somewhere called yeah, the Fernando. Right there, right yeah, the there. Fernando. Yeah. yeah. All right.